There are over a thousand tutorials on YouTube, from tutorials that show you how to center a div to those that show you how to build a full-blown SaaS application. The options are endless. Most of these tutorials are created by smart individuals. Yes, mostly smart, but some aren't that smart, but that's not what we're talking about today. As a beginner who is just starting out or someone who has already watched a few tutorials, you might feel that everything will finally click after you've watched that 5 hour long tutorial on how to build a WhatsApp clone. We've all been there and I can tell you that you are wrong. You will not learn anything significant just by watching tutorials. Here is why. The first reason is Passive learning. When you watch tutorials without actively engaging with the material, you are just passively consuming information. It's like watching someone ride a bike and expecting to be able to ride the bicycle by yourself without ever getting on that bike. You might understand the theory, yes, you might understand how things are done, but until you practice by yourself, the knowledge won't actually stick. And that is where a lot of beginners fall prey. The second reason you will not learn anything by watching tutorials is because it gives you a false sense of progress. You might feel productive, but without putting the concepts into practice, you won't retain much. Watching someone else write code can be soothing and motivating, but it doesn't replace the hands-on experience by coding a project from scratch by yourself. And then lastly, the problems in tutorials are often very simplified. They don't cover the nuances and the challenges of real-world projects. When you start working on your own projects, you encounter a lot of problems that tutorials didn't prepare you for. The real world is really, really messy and and complex and any problem can arise at any moment in time. So you should always have the mindset and the reflexes of knowing how to solve problems by yourself, either by doing research, either by trial and error, or just by thinking overall like a programmer and coming up with solutions to solve these problems by yourself. And these tutorials abstract all of these problems for you and just show you the solutions at once and you don't really learn anything. Relying too much on tutorials can really make you too dependent on them. You might find yourself unable to start a project without looking for a tutorial first. These dependencies stunt your growth as a developer because you're not developing the critical thinking and the problem solving skills you need to work independently. And as a developer, these are two skills you really cannot do without. And if you haven't remarked yet, tutorials don't really touch the problems you face as an individual. Tutorials are basically a one size fits all. They don't actually cater to your specific learning style or pace. Everyone basically learns differently and tutorials cannot adapt to your unique need. That is why when you're learning how to code, you should focus on learning the basics, learning the fundamentals, understanding how things are being done, and then using what you've understood to actually apply it in a project and solve the problems you encounter from that project by yourself. That is how you learn. So we've listed the reasons why you shouldn't watch tutorials. So what you should do is summarize in three words. Build, break, and learn. You basically need to start small. You need to begin with small projects that interest you. And I greatly emphasize on this point of having interest in the project because once the project is boring and you don't have any interest in the project, that is when the next thing you do is to give up and or move on to the next tutorial. So you must have a certain level of interest in the project you're building, especially when you're starting out. And this project could be a personal blog, a personal portfolio, and just a project that can help you perform a certain task that maybe you might not be able to perform using another application. For example, when I was starting to learn how to code, I built an application that helped me calculate charges for mobile money. Mobile money is basically a method of payment in Cameroon and the problem we had with this method of payment is that anytime you want to do a transaction like send money to someone, uh, withdraw money, there is no way to know the transactional fee. So I built an application that helped you calculate this transactional fee for every single amount you can think of. And this was a project I was very passionate about and I was also learning how to code by building a project I was highly interested so this made me learn a whole lot more than watching any tutorial in the world. The next thing you should do is to experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment and break things. Debugging and problem solving are essential skills for any developer. When you encounter issues, you learn more from fixing them than you ever would from any tutorial in this world. Experimentation leads to discovery and reinforces your learning. If you have tried very hard to find a solution to your problem and you're still not able to find a solution, the next thing you 
should do is to seek help. You can join communities, you can join forums. So basically, do not hesitate to ask for help when you are stuck. I'm currently running a full stack development training program and we have a large community of students who help each other every single day. Sometimes instructors are not present to help students, but they help each other when someone faces a problem or encounters a bug and doesn't know how to solve it. So being part of a community is really, really powerful. You can join free communities or you can join a paid community like the one where my students are in. You can even also explore places like Stack Overflow, Twitter, Reddit, and even Facebook to find help. There are a lot of helpful communities on these platforms, so make sure to make good use of them when you're trying to solve a problem or just trying to debug your code and find help overall. Next, after completing a project, you need to take time to reflect on what you've learned. Identify the areas where you've struggled and revisit those concepts. Then you can iterate and improve your projects from new ones. So anytime you start a new project, you basically use the knowledge you use in the old project or in the older project and use it to build upon that and make your current project even better. And the final thing you need to do is to keep learning and keep evolving. I don't want to tell you to stay updated with the latest trends or to learn the latest tools, but just keep practicing, keep learning, keep building. That is how you're going to do to always take your skills to the next level and ultimately grasp this thing that you call coding and call yourself a developer. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that as from today, you stop watching tutorials and actually start getting to work and apply what we've talked about in this video. So if it was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next one.